And all you men out here 55 years old trying to date some girl 20 like she like you. Are you out your mind? She wants your house. I don't see no 20 year old girls with a broke down 55 man with no money. You don't see no girl 20. Oh, he's, look, look at the homeless dude, but he's cute. Hey, hey. She wants you to die. If you keep messing with her, you will. You want a woman that understands the signs of stroke. That's what I'm looking for. A woman that got my medication in her purse. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. I thought you took it. I thought I did. You want a woman that's your nurse. See, if you go to dinner with a woman that's 55 years old and you, your little lip curl up, she know what to do. Hey, 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 Jamal, Jamal, look at me. Jamal, look at me. She'll get you to a hospital and save your life. But a girl 20, quit making faces at me. It's not funny anymore. Now you all stroked out for the rest of your life because your little cute girlfriend didn't know the signs of stroke. She come visit the hospital. I ain't know where the stroke was. I tried to tell I don't understand you. I had a stroke. But can I have your house now? Since you can't live there no more. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful midweek Wednesday. I'm doing well myself. You know, it says um, in Proverbs 18, 21, that death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof, okay? That couldn't be even more truer, you understand? From the example we just seen with one of the best comedians that ever was in my book, you understand? Sinbad was one of the best comedians simply because, not only because he told phony jokes, but he told them clean. You understand what I'm saying? And he didn't use a lot of profanity to get his point across with his jokes. You understand? As we just saw in the uh, prior clip. But the thing is, though, <laughs> um, his joke pretty much weighed in as a kind of like catastrophic, you know, on his own health. You know, when it comes to, you know, like what happened with him with the stroke. He told that joke good and it was very very funny i'm mean, him making the faces and everything we saw that you know but hey like i just said you know with proverbs 18 you know hey the most high's word is no joke you understand and when it says what it says it means what it says and we can learn by example here okay now to get into this article it says here sinbad warns be careful what you talk about while recovering from a stroke he believes he manifested due to a joke over 14 years ago, okay? And uh, I know a lot of you guys are familiar with another, another great comedian that's no longer with us, Red Fox. Red Fox, <laughs> if you watch Red Fox show with Sanford and Son, you know he always joked about having a heart attack. You understand, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you. You understand? Grab his chest with his right hand, get the staggering in his left hand out to the out to the left. You know what I mean? Waving and everything else, you know. But again, look how he left out of here. Just like that. He had a heart attack. Matter of fact, he had a heart attack while he was filming. Uh, I think the show that he was doing with Della Reese during the time of his passing, you see. So hey, these things are real right here. You understand the most high joke ain't, I mean, the most high word ain't no joke, okay? Now, it says here 67 year old actor and comedian Sinbad had long been celebrated in the entertainment industry for his mindful approach to comedy, notably steering clear of profanity during his stand up performance. Um, despite being inspired by the late blue comedy legend Richard Pryor, Sinbad, has maintained a clean repertoire throughout his career, being careful not to use curse words during his bits. However, now in 
rehabilitation after suffering a stroke in 2020. The beloved funny man is admitting that he has used some bad curse words in his set, even if there were not the traditional profanity often associated with his fellow comics. During a recent appearance at Netflix is a joke festival in Los Angeles, he conjured up an old Christian scripture that state the power of life and death lies in the tongue, claiming that he manifested his health conditioning, well conditioned by joking about having a stroke more than 14 years earlier. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something. I did not read this uh, article prior to drawing it up. You understand? Now it's funny that he would have Proverbs 18:21 in this. You see what I mean? What we just read here. You know what I said? Uh, see, this is the most high right here. And that's basically what it boils down to. Uh, but to continue here, it goes on to say, joined by his family after being helped to his seat on stage, the comedian told the crowd that he was feeling good and grateful to have been able to walk, albeit with a large staff. It is a miracle for me to come out tonight, even to be working with that staff, said Sinbad. I feel good that I can do that because the left side of my body was affected by the stroke. My left hand, my left leg just quit. Just like that, you know. That's scary, you know. That That is very, very scary. Uh, it goes on to say here... Um, he then issued a warning to audience members about the power of the tongue, okay? So see, this is the reason why I always try to uh, watch what I say. You understand, Vaughn? You know, say somebody, you know, say something that I would like to happen to me or something I would like to happen to for somebody else instead of something negative, you know? Some of my earlier videos, I used to... Uh, you know, I hate Mondays still. I do. I hate Mondays. But I stopped doing it. I said, oh, this miserable Monday. You know what I'm talking about. Then I started feeling. I said, no, it's not miserable. You're feeling good. You know, uh, everybody, your wife around you, everybody's feeling good. So, you know, it's not that miserable. So I stopped doing that. You understand? Because, see, you know, like it says here in Proverbs 18 and 21, you know, the death and life are in the power of the tongue. That's what it boils down to. Now to continue though, be careful what you talk about. Remember that, remember I did my joke about having a stroke question. Be careful what you talk about cause you're bringing into fruition, he cautioned. The joke he referenced was from his 2010, where you been question. Well, where you been question mark, you know. Comedy special which was aired on Comedy Central during the stand-up. He does a bit about older men dating younger women and jokes about men wanting a woman who will understand the signs of a stroke, okay? <laughs> yeah, it, uh, and that was really, really funny because it's you know it's, it makes a lot of sense, you know what I mean? But you don't want no stroke. <laughs> you don't want no signs of no bad, you know, diseases or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But... What he's saying is good to have a mature woman with you and vice versa for women. You know what I mean? It's good to have a mature man that love, that loves you, you understand, and um, is a contentative with, you know, um, your needs, basically, okay? To continue, all you men out there 55 years old trying to date some girl 20 like she like you, he stated... <laughs> he started the joke saying are you out of your mind she wants your house <laughs> he continued well we just watched we just watched but I'm just reading it he continued I don't see no 20 year old girls with a broke down 55 year old man with no money you don't see no girls 20 saying look at the homeless dude but he's cute you know, <laughs> I'm sure it still happened, though, but more than likely, you know, it's going to be a needle in a haystack to find. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, she wants you to die. If you keep messing her with her, you will. He warned. And the part of the joke that 
he believes plagued him years later, Sinbad says, you want a woman to understand the signs of a stroke. That's what I'm looking for. A woman that got my medication in her purse. Okay. So that's basically what it all boils down to. You know, your boy was right about that, you know. And it's really, really scary though. But, you know, it says here about fans weighing in on it. Weighs in on his theory on the X platform. He makes valid points. Glad to see he's up and about. Met him at a con well, convention in San Francisco. Nice guy, respectful and appreciative. One person tweeted. Another wrote, that is, well, that is how Red Fox died. Again, I never said it. I never even read this this article, people. Okay, but it says here that is how Red Fox died. They thought it was a joke. He always played without fail. Turns out, it wasn't a joke that time. Yes, yay! Thank God. Word sound is power. Well, power. Watch your words. Let them express the things you desire. One person commented, never speak ill of yourself or others. Let words be healing to their recipients. Jokes are great. Just don't let your health be the brunt of the jokes. And that's facts. That's what I'm saying here. You know what I mean? Be careful. It's funny how a lot of this stuff I just said is coming up, you know. But uh, basically, it just goes on to say, you know, just to be careful what you're talking about, you know, and um, manifesting what you say with your mouth. OK, but let's finish this. Um, it says here, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, it says here, if Sinbad believes he manifested the stroke, he also seems to have manifested a woman who would have his back and keep their vows. While talking about watching what he says, he saluted his wife, Meredith Fuller Atkins, for being a strong woman who stuck with him through it all. The two married in 1985, around the time he starred on uh, Star Search as a finalist and have maintained their union for nearly four decades. Despite what seems unwavering devotion, the comedian joked, about not always being the perfect husband and is grateful that Meredith is such a nice and forgiving person, okay? Well, we all need somebody that's nice and forgiving, you know, and none of us perfect. We do all make mistakes, you know, just so they don't, they ain't the kind of mistakes as basically marriage enders. You understand what I'm saying? But I digress. I know it seems, well, I know some of the dumb stuff I did during my marriage, he said. I know some days when I'm in the this wheelchair at the top of the steps, laughter. I know you thinking, I know she did it. <laughs> Let's take a ride. <laughs> Excuse me, it don't say it wasn't say I know you thinking, I know she did. Let's take a ride. That's what it says. Um according to Sinbad, he depends on his wife for his total survival. Saying to the group, I thank God for her. So I want to say thank, thank you to her publicly. The couple has two children together, a daughter named Paige and a son named Royce. The kids have also been by his side. Sinbad starred making public appearances um, after the cast of A Different World travel to several HBCUs surprising students with the video appearance he has since shared his gratitude to his fans for their constant support thank you to everybody who's been praying for me and saying good things and supporting me during this time in my life it means a lot to me Sinbad said adding God has been with us and he's carrying me well, he's carried me through my whole life, and it means so much when I hear from you all. And you tell me, keep going, okay? So, yeah, that's that's right there, inspiration, right? Because sometimes when you don't have inspiration, 
that can end you okay in conclusion here it says um also at the may 6th netflix is a joke fest where sinbad uh mentees in the industry many stars like dion cole dk hewley um dk hewley uh Byron Allen, Mark Curry, DJ Trauma, and more perform at the Benefit Comedy Show in his honor. The proceeds are said to have gone to the Sinbad Special Needs Trust. Okay? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, DK Hughley. I thought his name was D. What? D.H. Hughley or something, man. These people are crazy. I think they mispronounced that. But anyway, it goes on. That's what it all is all about. Be careful what you manifest with your mouth. Because the most high word does not come back in the void. You understand what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. Well, that's all I got on this one, people. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular story right here in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.